Hello and welcome back to the Gfinity Arena here in London. We are continuing our group stage games here at the Play Like a Legend Championship Season 2. I've got Chris Bullard next to me ready for some more action. Chris, we're going to see a Smiley Dragon up again who just lost to Tass. He's going to be playing for his place in the quarterfinals, taking on Vitality Brian. It's a straight elimination game, effectively. Whoever wins goes through. Whoever loses doesn't go through. Who's going to go through? Um... If I have to make a prediction, I'll go for you do. Yep, sure. Yep, <laughs> Sean Allen. Um, why not just yeah, Sean? Yeah. Um, okay. How why? You? Oh, um, just on the basis that these guys have already played before. So um, Sean Allen did beat Vitality Brian on okay. that occasion. So despite the fact that in Group A we saw a reversal when we had a rematch, didn't we? Because we saw uh, Grigsby lost his first game, played the same person again in Toxide, and then beat him and knocked him out. So True. there is precedent there for. Yeah. A, a a little bit of a turnaround. So we have a look at look at Group C, so we can see the exact how it all went down in Group C. We'll show you now. Um, so this is the situation with Group C. Tass beat Vincente 62, and then he beat Smiley Dragon. Two wins gets you through. Bang, done, dusted. Tass won the group. Uh, Smiley Dragon won his first game against Vitality Brian, so he went through to play Tass. The winner of which won the group, which was Tass. Uh, Vitality Brian lost, so he played the other loser, Vincente62. He's got a red mark round him because he has been eliminated now. And now it's the two people that have both won a game and lost a game, a Smiley Dragon versus Vitality Brian. Whoever wins goes through as the runner-up of the group. It's as simple as that. You're saying that Sean Allen's going to do it. I'm going to go with you on that one because he was a semi-finalist in the last Play Like a Legend Championships. Brian was knocked out in the group. I think the same thing's going to happen again personally, but we don't know. There could be a, a turn up for the books. I'm sure Brian will not be happy that he's been written off that easily. And uh, I look forward to seeing what team he's using and what sort of team, what sort of strategy he goes with against Sean Allen because Tass seemed to have it down. He had a really good, I mean, it, I wouldn't say it was just crosses. He got a lot of his goals from headers, but generally the way he played in possession, it just seemed to nullify Sean's what is normally a very dominant attack. Yeah, no, I think um, I was talking to Dave a little bit before the tournament, actually. I said, I really think it's about time that someone actually made this possession football work in FUT. Like, mm. people have been trying it again and again, um, yet players who play a more direct approach have been succeeding. Um, but I still think, you know, as players adapt, like we just saw with Taz there, he played, you know, just... He could go quick when he wanted to, when he was in a good position, um, but then slow it down when he needed to as well. Yeah, and he's got that option to do that. I mean, it is... Uh, we talked about it earlier. I think it is important to have a variety of game styles, plans, you know, plan A, plan B, etc., uh, different ways of playing. But uh, we know with Sean, one thing you definitely get is attack. He goes for it. He tries to score goals. Brian is pretty similar in, in offline, at least, in uh, in head-to-head -head stuff. They're both quite attacking players, to be fair. So I'm looking forward to this game. I don't actually know. I think we're going to get goals. I'd be surprised if we didn't have a number of goals across the two across the two games. But uh, only one person will be going through. And you guys are home watching. You might have just tuned in. You might have been watching all morning. We've been doing it since about 10 a.m. today, uh, UK time. You could be here as well. Season three is just around the corner. All you've got to do to qualify to be here live, in person, taking people on in the Gfinity Arena, is go to gfinity.net forward slash legends. There you can register Try and qualify for this event. Qualifying means you have to take part in, an, in a certain amount of online games. You get points for those uh, games or, or, or actual events you take part in. And the more points you get, the more likely you are being ranked high enough to qualify for here. Particularly if you're from one of the less represented areas of Europe. You know, we've got players from all areas of the continent taking part here. And uh, we're soon to see, I know the, the, the Twitch guys still can't wait to see United play. Um, he's going to be coming up soon, our Polish player. Let's take a look at Sean Allen's team again here. He's going with that Serie A starting team. Dumbia up top this time instead of Barbo. Team of the season, Marquisio. Uh, team of the week, Kandreva in there. Jovino on the left. A couple of silver uh, fullbacks. So it hasn't really worked out for him thus far, losing the last game. But if he wins this one, he'll be happy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really surprised that Sean changed his team. He, he, I know in midweek he had Ronaldo in his team and was going to go with probably a more either La Liga or BPL team. Um, so we'll, we'll see if that risk actually pays off. Yeah, Serie A still definitely a, a not a particularly represented league in this tournament so far. But they've got some pacey players like Dumbia, who's gone through straight away. Can Sean Allen score? Yeah! You would have thought he'd do that. He starts games very lively. I've noticed this about Sean. He always comes out of the blocks super fast, creates chances. They almost went in there. The keeper almost brought it into his own net. 
Um, but he doesn't, he doesn't necessarily take those chances because he could have been 2 0 up against Tass in that first leg in, inside five minutes. Likewise, he probably could and should be 1 0 up now. Yeah, no, I think he did the right thing. Um, just got a little bit unlucky. The keeper making a good save at the near post. Okay, Sturridge on the ball. Torre for Brian. Goes inside to Trapped. Adele Trapped being used. Interesting choice. Remy as well. There's got to be better players than Remy in there. I know he's fast, but he's really not a great finisher. And uh, it surprises me that you go with him there. You've got Leroy Fur as well. There's got to be some kind of QPR connection here with Brian because we've seen him rep the QPR players last tournament as well. Interestingly, he hasn't changed away from them. This is why. Oh, wow. He almost scored a wonderful goal of Trapped there. Absolutely had them running rings around him. Yeah, no, that could have been a, one of the contenders for goal of the tournament if that had paid off. I told you he was an attacking player. He's got skills. That's a great goal. Brian has scored. Look at uh, Smiley Dragon there holding his face. He's not happy. <sighs> That's going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him. But Brian, on the other hand, is absolutely flying right now. Lovely goal. Uh, doing a one-handed press-up. I don't think Traps can even do one press-up in real life with both hands, let alone one. But his virtual version can. And he's 1-0 up. And a really good goal for Brian there. You see it so much. Um, a lot of FIFA players like to take their corner short and then try and dribble into the box. Um, he did a little body feint to beat the defender and just pass squarely across the box for an easy finish. What's your stance on sweaty goals? Some people in Twitch are saying sweat. I mean, I personally think a goal is a goal. I agree with that, yeah. If I, if I, if I could win every game 1-0 with a sweaty goal, I would. It's not necessarily going to make you a lot, get you a lot of friends, but... It's football at the end of the day. You don't see anyone in football, in real life football, complaining when they score or concede a goal like that. It's just, I, I, I know, I get where it comes from. It comes from it being seen as a kind of exploit in the game that you can go for. But isn't that the whole point? Isn't that the whole way people get good at games? Is, it, is finding those exploits and utilising them to their advantage? Yeah, no, no, I couldn't agree more. Um, I've been in tournaments where I've seen players lose out on a lot of money because they've gone for a flare move as opposed to, yeah. you know, taking the easy options. So. He's trapped. I mean, the QPR connection is really an interesting one because he's actually got a lot of players representing some of the weaker London clubs. He's got, got two QPR players in there, trapped and Fur. He's got an ex-QPR player in, in Remy. He's got a Crystal Palace player in Yannick Balassi. You know, they're not, arguably any of them would not be the first names on your team sheet if you're making a BPL side. And the players like Diego Costa, not that expensive anymore. Really not expensive, so there's no reason why I couldn't have him in there. He's a really good striker. Aguero is still not cheap, but definitely a lot cheaper than he was. You know, I agree. I mean, maybe just Brian hasn't invested that much into his FIFA Ultimate team, and you know, maybe he feels he can just play as good as these guys um, with yeah. the players at his disposal. Sturridge out wide on the right hand side is uh, an interesting choice as well. Van Arnholt, the silver left back. Inside to Yaya Torre, who goes to Balassi. Balassi, nice little bit of movement there, but he gets read by Abate. And Abate, oh, it's a poor pass, though. Smiley Dragon just not really uh, got into second gear yet in either of the games. No, he sort of, yeah, like you said, he started really well with the first five minutes. But um, ever since then, Brian's has seemed to sort of control the match. There's a lot of sort of midfield battles going on right now. This is a rematch, like you said, of the first game in the group between these two guys, which, uh, which Smiley Dragon did actually win. But right now, we've got to say Brian's the man is the, the impetus here. He's uh, like Remy to Trapped, to Remy, to Toro. It's a poor pass. Can Draver intercepts? Can Smiley Dragon create something? Oh, yeah, yeah, Toro absolutely sent into the gym. Got a three-month membership at Virgin Active. Here's Trapped. Can he swing it in? Blassi. He's just not, he's just taking his time. But last thing he's going to look for a throwing option to Tarap. Tarap's really the playmaker in this side for Brian, isn't he? Yeah, though we haven't, well, seen him on the ball that much. So it's like, well, it seems like Brian's keeping it on the wing at the moment. Here's Balassi into Remy, to Tarap, to Fur. Back to Walker. Fur. Relegated with QPR this season for the second season in a row. Relegated. Remy gets a chance. Trout's going to score, surely. Oh, what a save. That was a great save. Hesitated there, Brian. Didn't take the chance. 
Here's Blassi to Sturridge. Can he strike one? Oh, turned. Oh, one too many, though, from Brian there. Yeah, Lee, Lee Wifer, Norman, um, relegated to the second season in a row, two different teams. It's a decent start. <laughs> it's a horrible start. <laughs> but he'll probably still find a premiership team this year. Yeah, no, maybe even going back to Norwich. Yeah, true, that could happen. Here's Remy. He's lost the ball. I feel like Sean is rushing his through balls a little bit, panicking maybe slightly, getting a little bit worried because his, his last game didn't go to plan. And he's just rushing the, the through balls. He's, he's better than that, I feel. Yeah, no, but uh, I also think that's the danger of playing also like so direct as well. He's set up, so he has to do that. He has to get the ball forward quickly. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, if he's not playing well, then then that will happen. Um, but Bri yeah, Brian should have could have gone ahead sort of five minutes ago with that great chance. Javinio. That's oh, a good tackle from Mangala, goes to Sturridge. Sturridge, happy with the possession on the right-hand side here. He's going to try and go down the line. He's just taken it out of play, though. And it's a throw-in for Sean, a.k.a. a smiley dragon. Here's Marquisio. Can he whip the ball in? I thought there was a triple tap onto the back post on there, but he didn't take it. He's got the ball, though. He's, 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 put, he's putting um, Brian under the cosh quite a bit here. But Brian could just counter now. Now it's half-time in the first leg. 1-0 to Brian in the Brazil kit as things stand he'll be going through and a smiley dragon the uh, semi-finalist from season one will be going home you know quite surprising like, I expect this big things with Sean Allen um, at the last event and yeah but it meant he did actually make the yeah, semi-finals he did, he did so well last time this time he's not doing as well he won his group last time as well I think and he's definitely not going to be winning the group now best he can do is go for his second he's seeing a uh, Smiley Dragon there on the left-hand side in the kind of different coloured T-shirt. And then in the orange and black shirt is uh, Vitality Brian, a Frenchman. So it's a, it's a British player against a French player. Uh, Ibrahimovic is coming on. Okay, and Chikawi as well. Hmm. Very interesting substitutions from Brian. What I like about Brian's teams is that he uses players that other people don't use yeah, no, in, this, yeah. in this tournament at least. Um, Sean bringing on... Uh, who did you bring on? I saw him bring on someone half decent. I think he's changed the show. Oh, he brought on Gareth Bale. And uh, Chikawi and Ibrahimovic on for Brian. Okay. Here's Chikawi. Five star skill, five star weak foot, I think. Yep, I think you're right. Ball for Ibrahimovic straight off the bench would have been an immediate impact. Oh! Oh, what, what a, a goal! goal! <laughs> straight off the bench. What a super substitution of managerial mastermind, Vitality Brian. And Sean is not looking happy 2-0 down this is a lovely goal look at that oh that absolutely all you needed to get was uh, the defender to do a Jerome Boateng Champions League fall over there and it would have completed the move but it's 2-0 to Brian he's going to be absolutely loving life and we could be saying goodbye to Sean Allen which would be our first real shock exit from the group stage I'd say you know um, but it, to be fair this is the I think this is the hardest group out of every like all the group I think this is the, the group of death you've got Taz who's a very well-respected player. Th these guys are both well-known as well. Um, the only unknown player was Vicente, 62, who did get yeah. eliminated you know, sh straight away. Anua to Mangala. Brian in this Brazil kit can be patient now. He's got this 2-0 lead. Still got a whole second leg to go, though, so you can't rest on your laurels too much. Getting a third goal would allow him that privilege. Uh, I know that if Sean can get himself a goal and make it 2-1, and he'll definitely feel that he's got enough to go on and win the match. Van Arnholt, left back, playing the ball down the line for Blassi. Is he fast enough to... He, he somehow got through there. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's a lovely skill. Brian is absolutely tearing things up. Trying maybe a little bit too much, showboating a little bit for the crowd, perhaps. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, Brian's really enjoying these skill moves at the moment. And, yeah, no, every, everything's just working for Brian at the moment. Oh, is he onside? If he is, we could see a goal. Oh, it's going to be a goal. And it's 3 0. Ibrahimovic has been on the pitch for 12 and a half minutes and he has scored two goals. That's the left hand factor. Sean Allen is uh, disgusted with that. And uh, it's looking like we're going to be saying goodbye to one of the pre tournament favourites in the group stage. Yeah, no, re really impressive there by Brian. Just re nice. Easy through ball in the end, but that, that's the dangers of this 4-3-1-2 and pressing really high up the pitch. Sean Allen just bringing his, bringing his defenders out of defence and, and leaving Brian with it. What was an easy through ball and an easy goal? 
on a next level on Twitch is saying that Sean needs to take his time and pick the right passes. He's better than this. I agree he's better than this. He's not doing himself justice in this, this, uh, this outing. However, he has changed his team. I feel like he's, he's moved away from that BPL team that he had before. I think he had Ronaldo before as well. He's gone to this Serie A team and it's just not worked for him. It's, it's been a, he needs to sack his scout. <laughs> Here's Vidal on the ball to Abate at right back. Abate looking for Pogba, Pogba. He's going to handle that. He's got the physical stats. Oh, no, but he's actually lost the ball. Ibrahimovic, the absolute hero off the bench, puts it over to Balassi on the left, who, who had the uh, run of Abate last time they had a one-on-one -on -one with each other. So throw in for Brian. Yeah, I guess Brian will just look to run down the clock now, but although, why not go for more goals? Like Br Brian's actually playing really well. Oh, ball, ball, ball. Oh, keeper's done well. Buffon comes and gets it. Sean really needs a goal. Still only the first leg, but still 3-0 at the end of the day. It's a, it's a mountain to climb against a player of Brian's standard. He's doable. If he lets him get another goal, though, he's going to be in real trouble. Can he get a goal here? That's a poor ball. Yeah, I think that's like, like what you've said and what they're saying on the stream. That Again, another hurry pass for Sean Allen to get forward. And that, that is the danger of this approach. Go! Oh, there it is. We've got one. Some more claps for Sean. Every time he scores, he gets a clap. He's got a fan base in the Gfinity Arena. And uh, he's got one back. Gareth Bale with the goal. He's also a substitute. He's come on at half-time. So the subs are really having big impacts in this game. Brian's playing a defensive, uh, defensive approach now. Maybe just wanting to consolidate or could keep his lead as things are going into the second leg. But if he can get another one here with Balassi into Ibrahimovic... It'll be very good for him. Ball in, Shikawi. Oh, no. Seconds later, it's a swift reply from Vitality Brian. Fist pumping in the booth there. He's very happy. And that work that Sean's done has been undone in the space of a few seconds. And that's demoralising. You know, again, that was just too easy for Brian, really. Sean leaving a massive gap there to give a simple free ball right into the area. Um, and an easy finish for Brian. So, yeah, Sean... Dangerous defending at times, and it's not working for him. 4-1 in the first leg. I said there'd be goals, and it's not even one leg through, and we've already got five goals. I know what I'm talking about, mate. <laughs> I've covered a few of these now. These guys, you can always tell who are going to bring you the goals. And these two are both goal bringers. Van Arnholt to Balassi. Into Van Arnholt. Can we have another goal here? Surely not. It's a goal. Chikawi, every single goal scored since half time has been scored by a substitute. Chikawi, Ibrahimovic, and Bale getting on the score sheet. Oh, it's another chance for Bale here. Can Sean get another goal? Oh, he's done very well. He's going to score. He's going to score. Wow. Goals galore. Sixth goal of this game. 4 2. Sean is not going anywhere without a fight. No, that, that was a great run. Um, and I think there was a situation there where Brian thought he was going to obviously sort of move his attacker, but. Um, Sean just kept on running in the same direction as he, as he was going. And, um, yeah, no, that was a run from, like, 40, 50 yards out. Balassi into Torre. Torre, Bernanjo. Brian still bossing things in the Brazil kit, but he's shown a few chinks in his armour, letting uh, Sean get a couple of goals back, make it a little bit tighter. It's going to go for a goal kick. Some people saying the comeback is going to happen. Random guy show says the comeback is real. He thinks that Sean is going to get back in this game. Yeah, and I think um, Sean maybe just needs to, so, well, obviously not concede any, any more now um, in this game. But if I was Sean, well, I'd definitely chance, keep it tight. Chance. Yeah, I mean, Sean needs to remind himself that he won this fixture just literally an hour ago. Less than that. About around an hour. It's not important how long ago it was. <laughs> the point is, he's won it today already. And this exact same fixture, exact same people playing. She needs to do that again. Can Draver. Robin losing the ball. Mangala up to Balassi. Balassi, nice back heel to Van Arnholt. Van Arnholt's going to go down the line to Yannick Balassi. Balassi inside to Torre. Torre straight to Ibra. Ibra, the square, he's trying to get it in there. A cheeky back here, we can still do it. It's all right. Another goal. Seven goals. I said there'd be goals. There was goals. 5-2 now. And uh, absolutely smashing it, Brian. 
Second leg's going to be interesting, but Sean needs to really raise his game if he's going to get back in this. The three-goal deficit is still there. You know, um, I think we're going to see even more goals. Like, Sean's not, go not one of them players that just um, sort of sits on whatever formation he's playing. He'll change it up. He, he will gamble. He he'll lose 10-2 if he has to, if he has to try and get back in this game. And that's the way to play. That was one of the frustrating things we saw earlier when players were down. They weren't going all out to get back in it. And Sean's going to have to do that. It's 5-2 down going into the second leg. Brian is really uh, going to make a name for himself in this tournament very quickly if he keeps playing like that. Because that was sensational. Sensational FIFA. You know, good, um, a great fifth goal from Brian. And good good improv improvisation as well. Like, he went for the back call originally, the, um, back heel originally, that, but still had the ball and just kept the ball, got that opening, Ibrahimovic nice square ball across. Of the match. See that? Ibrahimovic playing a 9.6 man of the match off the bench at half time. Impact. Hashtag it. 5-2. <laughs> Second leg coming up soon. Sure, uh, Sean doesn't look happy. Now, is he in some kind of deep mental, you know, concentration phase or is he just not happy? I can't tell. I, no, I think he's um, not happy. Um, maybe maybe he's not sure really what to do from here, actually. It looks like he's um, searching for a plan B at the back of his mind. I don't doubt that he can score three goals. I just don't know if he can keep a clean sheet. That's the problem. But based on that defending in the last game, I don't think he can. I think um, if, if, if Brian doesn't score in this game, it will be due to Brian making bad mistakes. Because yeah. we, know, we know Sean's going to have to press this game from the outset. We're just getting the game set up now. Uh, looks like we could be seeing a slightly different approach from Sean in this one. I mean, he's still got the 4-2-3-1. He's going to go with Remy up top again. So he's not changed too much, actually. And I imagine Brian won't want to be changing anything after that. That first performance there, absolutely sensational. Sensational. Yeah, no, that's the best I've seen Brian play this Ultimate team. He's been always very impressive playing head-to-head. -head. Um, he was l the last Masters champion. Um, yep. But now, l almost like Taz, you see another sort of player come from head-to-head -head and really adapting his game now to Ultimate team. Rados Bra says, Sean needs to change something up here. Let us know in the Twitch chat what you think Sean needs to change up. Is it a formational thing? Is it a, a player thing? Does he need to play some different players, different formation? You know, he's only got so much to go with. It's interesting that he's ditched some of his... Um, oh, sorry, that was Brian's team with Remy, wasn't it? Of course, yeah, because Sean's got the Syria, kind of the Syria addition. And, uh, I mean, what can Sean change for you? Like, Because he's quite an attacking player anyway. So how can you go more attacking than what he's already doing? Um, I think I'd keep the same now, so stay with 4-3-1-2, um, see how that works for 45 minutes, and then if you have to gamble even more, then go to the three at the back. Yeah, um, not, not start, because the danger of starting for three at the back is obviously one of the rules in this tournament is you can't change upper formation, if that makes sense, I don't believe. So if you've got three at the back, you can't go to four at the back. If you've got four at the back, you can't go to five at the back. But you can go the off. You can make it more attacking. You just can't make it more defensive. It's a, I think it's in there to discourage people, kind of backs to the wall, parking yeah. the bus sort of thing. So that's maybe why he doesn't want to start three at the back. He's still got 90 minutes to get those three goals, but he needs one relatively soon, I'd say. Yeah, no, definitely, and, and that's definitely not beyond Sean. Sure, you know, we're, um, sh we've seen it before where Sean scored um, just for fun in some games in the last tournament. Yeah, for sure. OK, we're underway here. Six minutes already in. If, uh, if, if Sean can get himself an early goal, he'll feel like he can do it. But if Brian gets just one, I think it's done. Yeah, no, I think I'd agree. Here we go. Arm row. Oh, no, here we go. Vidal on the ball. Inside to... This is trapped, sorry. Trapped. Torre. Van Arnholt. Brian in the yellow Brazil strip. Balassi, Van Arnholt, Torre, Balassi. It's enough, lovely, fast football, great football. Remy to Sturridge. If he gets a goal here, it's going to be one of the best goals we've seen today. The fast approach play is slowed down slightly now, though. Brian does score good goals. That's worth, that's worth saying as well. He doesn't just score a good amount of goals. He scores good goals. Yeah, no, that, that bit of play there was really impressive. And, and it, it was really smart play again, just to slow it down when he saw there was too many defenders um, there for like a body faint. Um, looked to work a better position. 
Um, didn't work out that time, but yeah, no, good play all around from Brian. Velassi inside to Torre. Torre to Tarapt. Uh, is he onside? He could be. Possibly. I think it the looks left like back he is. Him on. Keeper stayed on his line. Remy into Tarapt. Tarapt. Remy. 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 Oh, so many chances. Oh, he's still not going. He's still not gone. That is not what you want. <laughs> that is not what you want. Brian shaking his head there. I mean, I think Sean would have been shaking his head even more if that had ended up going in. Kandreva here for a huge dragon. Smiley dragon, as he's now known. Oh, Kandreva, he's loving these runs. He did a similar one with Bale last game. He just ran through. Ibarbo, he's kept hold of it. Ibarbo. It's a good tackle from Manua. That would have been a great time to score for Sean. Yeah, I think there was a chance there just to like glance a finesse into the, to the far corner. Um, but Sean just wanted to try another one, one, one skill moves too many, really. Sturridge dispossessed there. And here is a smiley dragon on the break. Marquisio, Javinio, Dumbia. Serie A boys need to step up if they're going to keep playing in this tournament into the next round. That's not what you want at all, kicking the ball out of play there. We could be saying goodbye to the semi-finalist of season one. Smiley Dragon is currently three goals down. 5-2 in aggregate. Yaya Torre. To Van Arnholt. To Torre. Torre is trying to do the one-two, but he's lost it. Can a Smiley Dragon make something happen here? Ball in for Dumbia. Dumbia goes backwards. Is he gonna, he's going to force something. He's trying his best to create some space. Marquisio, that's nice. Trying to back heel in there. No, it's not worked out. Brian holds off. Is to wrapped. Sturridge to to wrapped. To wrapped. Remy. Is he going to make that? No, he's not going to make that. And here we go again. It's a very end to end game. This is a good chance. Dumbia needs to score. He's going to score. Oh, he's almost going to mess that up there on the left foot. But it is a goal. OK. So we've definitely got a game on our hands here. It's now 5 3. Sean is just two goals down instead of three. So he's done a good job here. You know, that was a bit. Um a bit lazy from Brian there, just losing the ball really easy the, in the midfield um, and turned out to be an easy goal for Sean, just that sort of nice through ball with a man over. Another chance. Oh, if he scored now, that would really pile the pressure on Brian to maintain this lead. Brian still must... I mean, if I'm Brian now, all I'd be thinking is just get a goal. Just get a goal, and I think mentally it's going to kill Sean. But Sean's the one on the... He's trying to try that shot here. Very few people in this tournament would try that shot there, and I, and I do admire Sean for trying it. So I thought the, there was a, definitely a pass on, like a through ball just inside, which could have led to, to an easy oh. chance. It's absolute end-to-end, -end. really. This, this game, this speed and the tempo of the game right now really suits Sean down to the tee. If I was Brian, maybe just try and suck some of the energy out of it. Just keep the ball for a little bit longer. I think Brian wants to play him his own game because he feels that he can do that. You know, he can go in the ring with him in the last 12 rounds if he has to. To wrapped. Torre, Balassi, Van Arnholt, Mangala. Nice, that's nice. This is what I mean. Just take the take the take the speed out of it, because every time he tries these through balls and they don't pay off, Sean loves it because he's gonna go straight back up the other end and try and get you while you're out of position. Whereas if 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 Brian's just keeping possession in quite deep areas, that suits him perfectly because Sean can't really hurt him there. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree completely. Um, the game, over the last 10 minutes at least, has really suited Sean Allen a lot more. Fur, Sturridge. If you watch, like, when, uh, when Brian gets sort of pinned in in an area, like he was on the touchline there with Sturridge, if you watch Sean charging him down with the pink shirt, he doesn't actually charge him down. He charges down where he thinks the pass will go, which means when it works, when he reads it, he intercepts it straight away. He's, he's off and away. But it means that if Brian can, can read what he's going to do, he can make a really easy move in, into some space because Sean's already run off in another direction. It's a really, really advanced pressing game from uh, Sean. Yeah, I think um, it's sort of a lot of top FIFA players will defend like that where you'll control um, the player and try and make interceptions. Then you'll press with the sort of second defender, you know, button. And then, um, and then only go closer to the guy who has the ball if you believe you can get the ball um, quickly. Coming up to half time now, it's 5-3. The question is, what's going to happen when Brian, if Brian, brings on Ibrahimovic and Chikawi again? Because they changed the game last match. Absolutely changed the game. That was why Brian ended up scoring five goals. So if he gets those boys on again now, he's going to feel equally confident. 62% possession for Brian, really showing that Sean is playing a counter-attacking game. 
but it's not getting enough goals right now. He needs to score some more, at least two more, or else he will be out of the tournament. Brian looking at changing formation away from the 4-2-3-1. Uh, Chikawi and Ibrahimovic are on, as we, as we predicted. They could be making a huge impact because they were dynamite in that first leg. Um, looks like Bryant's just changed to a 4-2-3-1 wide, and this is a real difficult formation to break down. So it looks like Bryant's trying to hold on to this lead rather than push for more goals. But with Ibrahimovic on the pitch, you only need a moment of magic to create something out of nothing. Walker. Sturridge. It's interesting what we were saying, though, because we were talking about Bryant's team and saying that his, his, his starting team, at least, with the likes of Remy Balassi to wrap for... Not expensive. But then he's got Ibrahimovic on the bench. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, he could, if he wanted to, he obviously feels Ibra off the bench is really effective because if he wanted to trade in Ibra, he could use those coins to really build a stronger BPL team. Get someone like Aguero in there. But he's happy with what he's got. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't see much of Aguero, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like it must be really hard for Ibrahimovic to fit into many teams because I don't see a lot of Liga 1 play, um, teams. And I guess that's why he's a good substitute option. Here's Chikawi passing to no one. If Sean can just get himself a goal, we're going to have a really interesting second half of this second leg. Just needs one goal, make it 5-4. Trevino on the ball. Sorry, it's fur, isn't it? It's fur. Mangala. Brian playing this Brazil kit. He's happy just to take the pace out of this. Yeah, no, Brian will just try and play possession football and try and just lead Sean Allen into making a mistake from taking defenders out of position. Because um, Sean does press re really high, where, you know, all over the pitch. Yaya Torre for Brian. To Van Arnholt, the left back. Chance here for Sean. If he can get something off. Gareth Bale, it's going to be a goal! The deflection's taking it over. That looked, it was, that looked like it was definitely going in the back of the net. Sean will be devastated he didn't put that in. He's put a corner straight in the keeper's hands now. That's not what you want. Massive chance of Sean goes awry there. Ball down the line. It's a good one. Fur on the ball. Inside to Ibrahimovic. Straight to Jakawi. Jakawi's going to go down to Balassi. Opportunity for Brian to wrap things up, perhaps. Balassi, is he going to put it in? Oh, he's, what has he done there? How has he created that space? Oh, I'd be frustrated that he didn't do more. I thought he should have carried on going and shoot with Balassi there rather than try and whip it into Ibra. Yeah, no, he definitely had the space to, but I, I guess when, when Ibrahim is, is in your team and you're so used to beating a man and crossing it into him, it was like he'd already decided to do that. Leroy Fur. Kyle Walker. Back to Mangala for Brian. Mangala switches the ball over to Van Arnholt. Van Arnholt is going to go inside. It's not a good pass, though. Chance for... This is big. Sean, if you can take it down. Oh, he's tried the, the roulette spin. I mean, it would have been lovely if he'd done it. He's got a free kick in a very dangerous area, but this could definitely go in. Is he going to strike it with Kandreva? Kandreva is a good free kick taker. A goal here would make it such an interesting finish to the game. He's going to hit it with Marquisio by the looks of things. Well, I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's hit it straight at the wall. That's disappointing. It wasn't even, it wasn't even like at the top of the wall. It was quite a poor free kick, that. Yeah, no, it was. Um, a lot of players decide to go for a short pass as well in that position, which I thought he might do. Marquisio isn't exactly your, your normal free kick taker either. Terrible through ball from Robin there. Absolutely awful. Sean has 20 minutes to get two goals. So we're going to be saying goodbye to someone that I would say would be certainly have been in the top five, if not the top three tournament favourites before. Some people would have had him as their number one. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, I completely agree. He's, he's been playing really well online. Um, he's actually been making a lot of finals um, recently in like, the FUT qualifiers for these seasons two and three. What's happened? What is it about this that's changed? I mean, will he be using the same team online? Surely he will be. Um, well, I yeah, I think he did change um, not long ago. Oh, chance, chance. Bale, where, why has he gone on to his right? Oh, he's going to get away with it. No, he's not. 
he had an opportunity to get that on his favoured left foot and instead he kept it on the right and I think that was going to cost him. And look at that. Yeah, they say when you're young and you start playing football and you're a defender, you do not kick it across your own goal. But Brian just flies in the face of that advice there. <laughs> Belassi, Torre, Walker. Chikawi down the line. Chikawi's going to get hold of it. Can he get it into the big man Zatan in the box? Does he even need to? He gets to Kyle Walker. I don't know what Kyle's doing over there on the left. Leroy Fur. Oh, Sturridge off the post. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. I thought he should have struck it with Leroy Fur there. It was a great opportunity just to bang it in the corner. Yeah, and no, I thought he was as well. Um, really good position. But the, the, the sort of last pass knee worked out well for him. Torre. Leroy Fur. Sturridge. Back to Fur. Fur. He's going to bang it. He has banged it. Oh, my word. And he's weak of foot as well. I think he's right footed, isn't he, Fur? He's trying that on his left. Yeah, no, I think so. Um, but yeah, no, always rising, but it's probably definitely capable of that. De in Ultimate Team, you tend to see a few more long shots flying. Sean running out of time here. He's going to win. He could be winning this fixture, but losing the tie overall 5 3 after that catastrophic first leg against Brian. And Brian could easily get a goal here. He's got players overlapping. Yaya Torre to Velassi. There it is. Oh, that's 6 3 now to Brian. Sean Allen is going to be leaving us. Shock exit. Although Brian is no surprise he's going through because he's also a very cultured, cus uh, custom FIFA player. He's been, he's been there and done that in, in the competitive scene for a while. And uh, Ultimate Team, he wants to do a little bit better than his, his Ultimate Team debut at season one. And he's going to do just that because he's going to go through from the group, which is something he didn't do in season one. Here's Kyle Walker for Brian. Shame for Sean, because I, I think he maybe he was going to win this leg just as something, away to, you know, something to take away from it for him. But he's not even going to win this leg. He's won all in the second leg here. Vidal, Giovini, I really think that Sean's had a bit of an error changing to the Serie A squad. I think his squad that he used last season was a better squad for me. Here's Bale, though. Great turn. Oh, what a goal. He's going to win the leg. He wants to have the victory to take home. Fair play to him. But he's not going to get another two goals in, in the 89th minute now. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, I think he will be regretting his um, decision to change to a Serie A team. And Brian again. Oh, nice. Oh, it was a good ball in there. But, uh, Brian's really impressed me. Um, he's got a real nice like balanced style of play where it, he does keep that possession football, but then can go direct if, if it's available. Um, and then plays sort of really good, quick passing football in the final third. Great running from Smiley Dragon here with Gareth Bale. He really does love using the Welshman. He's absolutely impossible <laughs> to pin down. And unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. He scored a great goal with Bale in that first leg where he just literally ran from his own half straight into the box and put it away. But it wasn't enough. The Welshman was not able to carry a Smiley Dragon in the way that he carried Wales against Belgium last night. It's 2-1. It's a win for Brian. It's a win for, sorry, it's actually a win for Smiley Dragon, but a win overall, an aggregate for Brian, 6-4. Ten goals over the two games. That was not a disappointment. Vitality Brian goes through as a runner-up in Group uh, C, and Smiley Dragon is going to be leaving us, which is a real shock and a real shame because he's a very good, uh, exciting player. But he just didn't get enough goals, really, did he? No, yeah, um, it is a big surprise. But we we knew we were going to always lose a quality player from this group. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it had to be Sean Allen. It's a shame. And he goes with our, our best wishes. It's an exciting player, and I'm sure we'll see him again soon. But Vitality Brian is through, along with uh, Tass as the group winner. So we've got some pretty well-known names in the competitive scene. They're both going through. Uh, obviously, we had uh, Spencer, a huge gorilla, the reigning champion, already go through. Uh, Gwigzy is the kind of real newcomer that's come out of nowhere and gone through. And we, we look forward to seeing him play again in the knockout rounds tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have a quick break now. We'll be back soon with more group games in just a few minutes. We'll see you soon. Peggy 3.
come together perfectly. Well, this is it. The taste of football. Sweet victory for one team, bitter defeat for the other.